Hey guys, it's Cam here from Trimble. Hope you guys are enjoying the video series that we've got here for uh, showcasing what you can do in the field with your earthwork system um, and the theme of no design, no problem. And today we're going to get back to the real basics of you're in your machine, maybe it's a grader, a dozer, an excavator, but you want to create just a nice simple level surface. Uh, Earthworks has two ways of doing that. One, which is used uh, in the mode of depth and slope. And uh, depth and slope is a way, I call it like bench and go, where you can put your blade or your bucket onto a known elevation, you can bench and then you just go. Now, bench and go or depth and slope means that every time you um, start the system up, you've got to actually rebench and and go again. So in this video today, we're going to show you an infield design mode where you've got the same functionality where you can create a, a level surface, but you can name it and save it. So then you can reload it up at any point in time and um, you're always going to be using what, what you used last time. So we'll get into it. Okay, so we've got Trimble Earthworks running. Again, I'm in the D5K2 dozer and uh, we're in the dashboard view. So what we want to do now is go into the job setup um, screen. And the job setup screen will come up with your current project, the current mode you're in. So here we're, we're in design mode and that's what you will be in if you're running 3D office designs. And then we've currently got the eraser design. So here we've got a bunch of designs in here. Um, and But we don't want to run those. We want to create our own quick level surface. So we're going to change the design mode to be infield and it's going to give me the option to select uh, line work on the display from a design um, which you can do if you've got um, a project already going with designs in it but we don't want in this case to have any line work so we're going to line work from designs so we're going to go none and then we're going to go in here to hit this button here to create a new design and it brings the infield designs menu we don't have any designs in here so we're going to hit create and then we're going to go new level now this is very easy um, we can give the job a name so we're just going to i'm just going to call it uh, pad and you can type in the elevation that you want if you know it or you can actually use your um, blade focus point either the the right blade focus or the left blade focus um, and then go here now that's going to pick the elevation of the of the blade so in this case over here that's our left blade tip um, we, we want it, the elevation of my pad to be at that elevation so we can just come in here and hit here it's going to automatically populate the elevation field i can edit it if i wanted to uh, or i can accept it and then all I need to do is hit apply. It's going to process that. And it's going to then have a design called pad, which I can then select um, as a design, hit apply. And then um, I can hit start. But before I hit start, you can see that that's my um, pad design there. I can hit start. And then now I've created a simple level design where I can then reload that up at any point and um, the beauty about being able to do this is that I didn't have a design and I can use the automatics function to actually go and build that design um, using the system. Okay so I've just started the machine up and um, I'll raise the blade off the design you can see here my cut fills change my blade is off the design and I can go in and use my auto manual button to then go into autos and then get the blade onto design. So there, it's very easy. Um, just wanted to make sure you guys know how to do this and um, it's a nice simple way to do uh, a level design. We'll do another video update uh, shortly where we'll show you how to do um, some slopes. So thanks guys and take it easy.